Welcome to the week 3 demo for CAS 206. This week we are going to learn how to add links to a web page. We'll see how to link to other pages on the web and link to other pages on your own site. I think you'll find that brackets is a very helpful tool when we're doing this, so I'll show you how that works. The author has given us some great starting pages in the Chapter 6 folder, so let's start there. We're going to follow the instructions in Exercise 6-1 and create a link to the Epicurious website. Start by opening the file index.html. That is located inside this Jen's Kitchen folder, and I'm going to open it using brackets by right-clicking on it and choosing Open with Brackets. We'll need to scroll down just a little bit, and you can see here is the list item Epicurious inside of an unordered list that she has for links. The first thing that you need when you're creating a link is you need the anchor tag. That's the tag specifically designed to create links. So I'll just place my cursor right here at the beginning of the word Epicurious, put in the left angle bracket, and type A, and then go ahead and close that with a right angle bracket. Notice that brackets automatically completes that tag by including the closing anchor tag. Let's look at the opening anchor tag. In order to tell the browser exactly where to go, we need to use something called href. href is an attribute of the anchor tag, and it's kind of like a person, if you were describing somebody, you would say, well, they have brown hair, uh, they're six foot tall, they weigh maybe 150 pounds, and they're 43 years old. Those are all attributes of that person. Well, the attribute is all, can also be something that is on giving you a little bit more information about a tag. So I'll put in a space here, and I'll just type the letter H, and brackets brings up the option to choose href. Notice that now I get some quotation marks. So I want to type the absolute web address for Epicurious. It needs to be precise, and one of the easiest ways to do that is to actually go out on the web. I'm going to open Google Chrome, and I'm going to go up in the URL and just start typing in Epicurious, and the website comes up. So now I'm going to highlight the address up here in the URL, right-click it, choose Copy, and then come back down and right between the two sets of quotation marks, I'll place the cursor, and then I'll need to use Control-V to paste that. Now notice that on the web page over here, you have the www without the HTTP. But when you go to put it in, Brackets knows that you have to be very precise and that you need that HTTP in order for your external web address to work. So this is good, and it would work except for one thing. It's a great link, but the user won't have a hook to click on with his mouse, so we need to put that back inside the, the word Epicurious. We need to put it back inside the two anchor tags. So I'm going to use Control X to cut that. That is Control X like exit, not Control S like save. And that's a very useful command because if you notice here in brackets, you know, you don't get, the if you right click, you don't get a really nice menu to cut. So um, when I want to use something, when I want to cut, cut or paste, I always use the shortcuts with brackets. And so now I'll go ahead and paste it using Control V. And here's the word Epicurious. So our link is complete now. We have the entire opening tag which includes the attribute. I want you to see that, that the attribute is inside the opening tag. It will always be that way. And then we have the word that the user is going to click on. That's what I call the hook. And then we have the closing anchor tag. And all that is right within the list item. And these are nested tags. That's very important that you are aware of that concept of nesting your tags so that they work correctly. I'll go ahead and save this using Control S. I'm going to close Epicurious up here, and I'm going to use the Live Preview, which will launch Jen's Kitchen. And notice now that Epicurious has a link. It didn't before. I could have shown you that, but I think you can see that. I'll click on it, and it goes directly to Epicurious. Let's go on to Exercise 6-2. 
where we begin to create internal links that help the user navigate from one of your web pages to another page within your same site. I'm going to open about.html by right-clicking it and choosing Open with Brackets. Then let's go ahead and click Live Preview and you can see the page open. The task for Exercise 6-2 is to take this text over on the right side back to the home page and turn it into a link that will take the user back to index.html which is your main page. Over on the left let's find that text back to the home page. We'll put the opening anchor tag, close it, and then we'll go ahead and go back inside the anchor tag, do a space and then the H and choose href. Now look at what Brackets is doing for you. You've got a menu that has two folders and two web pages. You can go to any of those links and we'll learn more about going to folders in the next lesson. But for right now let's simply choose index.html then let's take our text over here back to the home page, control X to cut it, bring it over between the two, the opening and the closing anchor tags, and control V to paste, control S to save, and over on the right you see that we've got back to the home page. It's a link now that we can click and it'll take us back to index.html. Now we're ready for exercise 6-3 and we're going to learn to link one directory down. I've got index.html open here with a live preview and we're going to highlight this text for the Tapenade Olive Spread. Our task in this exercise is to go ahead and create a link that will take us to the recipe for that. So over on the left, at the beginning where it says Tapenade Olive Spread, let's create our opening tag and A for anchor, close that and now come back inside, space, get the href. Here we have a list of menu items. Again, we've got the images folder, the recipes folder, and then the two pages. This time, let's choose recipes, and here we automatically get recipes with another folder at the top. We'll look at that in the next lesson. And then here we have the salmon.html page and the tapenade.html. Choose the tapenade.html, bring our text over, control X, put the text between the opening and closing anchor tags with a control V, and now we'll save it, control S, and there it is. When I click on the tapenade olive spread, I get the recipe. I think you could probably figure out how to, to create the link for linguine with clam sauce on your own. But let me just go ahead and go through it for you really quickly. We're going to take this text, Linguini with Clam Sauce, over here on the right, and we're going to make a link out of it that will take the user to the recipe. On the left, I'm going to go ahead and start creating the anchor tag just the way we have with the A, and come back and put in the href. Now we have images and recipes. Let's click on recipes and again you see that we have this folder at the top and that's where the linguine with clam sauce recipe is. So I'll click on that. Now you see we have a higher folder than the folder down below that, a subfolder, and then we have two uh, recipe.html pages, couscous and linguine. We'll choose linguine and bring our text in, control X, bring it between the opening and closing anchor tag and control V, save it, control S. Now we have the link for linguine with clam sauce that goes down the two directories for us. Brackets really did all the hard work. The last thing we're going to look at is how you create a link that goes up a directory or two directories. We'll do this by looking at the linguine. Let's right click on it and open it with brackets choose Live Preview and I'm going to scroll all the way down here and you can see at the very bottom it says back to the home page. We want to create a link from the Linguini with Clam Sauce recipe all the way back to the home page. So over on the HTML page in brackets 
we see this text that says back to the home page. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our anchor tag there and then come back and choose href. Now notice that I only have choices in brackets for the couscous and the linguine and that's not really helpful. But from your text you learned that you can navigate up a directory by using dot dot and then a front slash. Notice when I get dot dot and then a front slash I now get a folder. This goes up a directory and remember in that directory up above it there were those three items. There was the pasta folder and then there was the salmon and then there was the tapenade. So we need to go a folder up and so we're just going to simply click dot dot front slash again and now notice that our menu choices include the index.html because brackets is automatically navigated up two folders for you. We'll choose index.html then we're going to take this text back to the home page and bring it between the opening and closing anchor tags. I'll save this, control S and now you can see over here on the right it is a hot link. It's ready to go. I'll click on it and now we're back up to the very beginning index.html. The author also includes an explanation of how to create a path that is relative to the site root and to do that you would simply put that front slash and that will create a path that is relative to the site root. However, it won't work on your local computer. It will work when you load this web page up to your web server. So that's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, that's it for today. I think you know now how you can use brackets to do all this heavy lifting for you and help you create links that will navigate within your web page. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.